All right, Babalos Rex here, and this is gonna be the priest class look. I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to finish these up. So I got Priest and Druid, and then I may take a look at the other ones that I didn't do tier on, but it's almost it's almost pre-patch time, and everyone's gonna get to play. All right, so I'm gonna be playing the new specs on uh, live soon enough. Anyway, so let's get this started. Let's get this priest here. So we start looking at fierce. All right. I was just looking at some mounts. It was freaking wild. Anyways, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Actually seeing it. Oh my goodness, dude. And it's got the nails. Dude. Okay, I really like the preset now. Holy shit. Alright, anyone recruiting a priest? I'll do whatever I need. Alright, let's look at the tier in the other sets. Oh my god. Ooh. I normally don't like these, but it, it still looks good. I like the, the flaps, dude. You're like the stone priest. Oh my god. Yeah, the white. Oh my god, that looks so good to me. Alright, hurrah. Ooh! That the Frost Priest. This looks good. And then Mythic. Oh my god, I love the purple. I love the purple so much. Oh my god. That looks super good. Alright, let's look. Ooh, Gladiator looks good. Alright, I like the purple. This is gonna be lit for Shadow. This is so good for Shadow. I like how the cloak goes with the tail pretty good. That's nice. And then the red. Ooh. All right, it's got a little bit of the lightning. Oh my god, that looks super good. All the presets look all the presets look good. Alright, so this is the war mode, world drop, crafted stuff for cloth, the normal robes, and then these are the questing. <clears throat> And world drops and stuff. That looks cool. Alright, one of these comes from the pre-patch. Alright. And uh, it looks alright. Alright, so th those are just the normal cloth. Alright. So now let's look at the cloth. So we're in holy. First. Casting prayer of mending reduces the cast time of your next heal or prayer of healing. Uh, by one second and increases their Holy World cooldown reduction effect by two seconds. When Holy Word Serenity and then the fourth set is when Holy Word Serenity or Holy Word Sanctify finish their cooldown, you gain 10% crit strike chance for six seconds. Interesting. Okay. All right. So pray. Okay. I'm. I'm. It. I'm very rusty with you, uh, priest. Especially healing priests. So, I know Shadow the most. Discipline a little bit. Holy. I haven't done much holy. Okay. So, Prayer Minion reduces the cast time of my next heal prayer hero. And increases the Holy World cooldown reduction effect. Okay. So, I want heals and prayer of healings so I can use more holy words. Is that what I'm saying? And then I'm going to use... You, be thrown prayer amendings and then the the four set helps my holy words holy word serenity or holy word sanctify finish their cooldown oh i gain crit that that's gonna be pretty good i think i think i don't know how good i'm not a good maybe maybe holy sucks maybe i saw someone post holy at the bottom no 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 it was shaman at the bottom or they had shaman and shaman i'm not the up uh, a pro healer, especially a priest. But I'm just taking a look. You know, I'm casual. This is a casual take. I'm going to make a talent that's going to just maybe be a little bit more. I mean, if you're trying to do high end rating, you definitely don't want my talent list. That's for dang sure. Alright, so let's start with Holy. So we're starting the priest tree. So Holy, you get two spells already. So we get Renew. 
Okay, that's your hot. Build the target with uh, faith in the light. Healing over 15 seconds. All right. Then we don't get this one for free, but uh, we got dispel magic. Dispel magic on the enemy target, removing one beneficial mag magic effect. That's cool. So there's your you you can you can get your dispel. I don't know if Holy don't have this or not. Don't, uh, fuck, I can't talk. I don't know if Holy has this right now or not. So that, that, like I said, I'm very Nubishet Priest, but I'm just taking a look here. And then you can get Shadow Fiend. Summon a Shadow Fiend to attack the target for 15 seconds. Generates mana. All right. I'm a person of the Holy Light. I do not like this Shadow Fiend. I do not like this. I do not want it. I'm gonna get Dispel Magic though. All right, Prayer of Mending. This is automatically gained for Holy. Places a ward on an ally that heals them for four, uh, 5k almost. The next time they take damage and then jumps to another ally with 12 yards, jumps up to six times and lasts 30 seconds after each jump. So that's the Prayer of Mending. That's the thing that's going to give me the, the quicker heals, which is going to give me the quicker holy words. All right. Okay. Trying to understand it as we go along. Improved flash shield. Increases healing done by flash shield. Okay. That seems that seems good. Though the tier set doesn't affect flash shield. Heal and prayer of healing. Okay. All right. Just, just checking that. Improved flash shield. 15%. That's good. I think. Improved Purify. Purify additionally removes all disease effects. So this isn't Dispel Magic, but this is on your already Purify pre-spell, I'd imagine. There you go. And then it removes all disease, so that's good. Uh, more stuff removing disease is good. I'm pretty sure. For healing. All right, we got Psychic Voice. Reduces the cooldown of Psychic Stream by 15 seconds. I got a loud voice, so I'm gonna take that. Then we got Shadow Word Death. A word of shadow binding that afflicts shadow damage to the target. If the target is not killed by Shadow Word Death, the caster takes damage equal to the damage inflicted on the target. The damage increased by 150% to targets below 20%. Dang. Why you gotta be so emo, Shadow Priest? I ain't taking that. That's I'm I'm in holy. I'm I'm pretending to be a person of the holy light. I will not dabble in such devil magic. No. Be gone. Alright. Row three. Focus mending. Prayer of mending does 45% increased healing to the initial target. Was that one of the hold on. Heal and prayer of healing. Okay, I was right. Prayer of healing. This is one. Yes. Yes. All right. Holy Nova. An explosion of holy light around you. Deals up to 9k holy damage to enemies and up to 12k healing to allies within 12 yards. Reduce if there are more targets. Yes. I exude the light upon the world. That's what I want to do. All right. We got a choice note here. Protective light. Casting flash heal on yourself reduces all damage you take by 10% for 10 seconds. Okay, that could be good if you're selfish about yourself. You're like, oh my god. Oh my god. You use that as a as a damage reduction. Active mitigation just a little bit by 10%. Alright, or oh, from darkness comes light. Each time Shadow Word Pain deals damage, the healing of your next flash of light is increased by 1% up to a maximum of 50%. What the hell? There ain't no light from the darkness. What the world? No, no. I ain't taking that. I ain't taking that. Mm, I don't know. Alright. You'd prob probably take that. But I'm in character. Alright, Angelic Feather. Places a feather at the location, target location, granting the first ally to walk through it. Forty percent increased movement speed for five seconds. Only three feathers can be placed one at a time. I like I like the idea of like here's a feather, here's a feather, here's a feather. I like that. 
I'm gonna give people little feathers. Be like, here, run. Run quickly. Phantasm. Activating fade removes all snare effects. I like that. It's a little sketchy though. It's ghosty. I don't like no ghosts. Alright, death and madness. Oh no. If your shadow word death fails to kill the target at or below 20% health, its cooldown is reset. Cannot occur once and once more than once every 20 seconds. You just gonna try to you just gonna try to kill yourself. The Shadow Priest, they going buck wild. They need to calm down. Get some help. Alright. Row 4. Why choice node right over here. Spell warding reduces all magic damage taken by 3%. That's nice. Or, bless recovery. After being struck by melee or ranged critical hit, heal 20% of the damage taken over 6 seconds. Okay, that's for PvP or solo. I'm getting reduced magic damage. That flat magic DR is nice. I'm gonna be real. Well, in my opinion. Alright. Especially compared. Alright? Especially compared to that. Alright, Rhapsody. For every 5 seconds that you do not cast Holy Nova, the damage of your next Holy Nova is increased by 10% and its healing is increased by 20%. Oh my god! This effect can stack up to 20 times, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just sit here, dude. Oh yes, dude. Turbo. You just charge up your Holy Nova like when I when I unleash this. Blah! Blah! That's nice. I like it. Alright, Leap of Faith. Instant. 1.5 minute cooldown. Imagine not getting this and someone be like, Leap me! And you're just like... Not talented, bro. Run faster. That, and I wonder what... I wonder what a priest would get if they don't talent into this for the one cooldown reduction thing. Priests need a movement cooldown. Like, other than... They can't have Leap of Faith be the one that... The Drakthir give them. This is ridiculous. They need a movement buff. Other, not feathers. Something, like, like, give them 15%. Okay, just some, death knights have death's advance. Give priests something. <laughs> Alright, leap of faith, we're pulling, uh, uh, pull the spirit of a party or raid member, instantly moving them directly in front of you. Okay, cool. Shackle undead. Shackle the target undead enemy for 50 seconds, preventing all actions and movement. Damage will cancel the effect. Limit 1. <laughs> Unless we fighting undead, there's going to be a season where there's undead. And then priests are going to get this for CC. <laughs> Maybe. Alright. Another choice node. Sheer Terror increases the amount of damage required to break your Psychic Stream by 75%. Or Void Tendrils summons Shattery Tendrils, rooting up to 5 enemy targets within 8 yards for 20 seconds or until the Tendril is killed. Bro! This would be amazing for the challenge for Shadow Priest. Oh my god. This is gonna be amazing. Alright, uh, I'm not sure. All right, got another choice note over here. Mind control, control the mind up to one level, uh, up to one level above yours for 30 seconds does not work versus demonic, undead, or mechanical beings. Shares diminishing returns with other disorientating effects. Or dominate mind, control a mind up to one level above you for 30 seconds while still controlling your own mind. Does not work versus demonic, mechanical, or undead. This spell shares the diminishing return. Okay, so this is you control them. This is they your minion. I want to get dominate. <laughs> I don't want to lose control of myself, but I will control. All right, row five. Words of the pious for twelve seconds after casting word of shield. Word, word of word of shield. Power word shield. You deal. My allergies are acting up. That's why I keep. Touching my nose. You deal 10% additional damage and healing with Smite and Holy Nova. Alright. Dude, I hit this. I hit the Power Word Shield. Then I do the Rhapsody. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Master spell. Alright, this is good. Dispels magic in a 15 yard radius, move, removing all harmful magic from 5 friendly targets and 1 beneficial magic effect from 5 enemy targets. Potent enough to remove magic that is normally undispellable. Hell yeah, we get that. Move with grace. Reduces the cooldown of leap of fate. No. Power infusion. Alright, we getting this. Infuse the target with power for 20 seconds, increasing haste by 25%. I... FYI, my opinion on power infusion, if... it, I think it needs to go on yourself as well. But I think it's nice for healers to have a support ability. In my opinion. More healers should. I think it's cool. Could it be annoying? Yeah. But... I, I, I think that's... Maybe not every healer, but... I do think it's fine for some. <sighs> Vampiric Embrace. Two minute cooldown. Fills you with the Embrace of Shadow Energy for 15 seconds, causing you to heal a nearby ally for 50% of, of any single target shadow spell you deal. This is crazy that a Holy could get this, or a Disc can get this, I think. How good th would this be for Discipline? That's gotta be legit for damaging. But I hear healing's rough in dungeons right now. All right, final talent on this row. Tithe, eva tith tithe Evasion. Shadow Word Death deals 75% less damage to you. Okay, okay, you're reducing that damage dealt, good. All right, row six. Inspiration, reduces your target's physical damage taken by 5% for 15 seconds after a critical heal with flash heal, heal or holy word serenity. Yes, especially that goes with the tier. Improved master spell. Master spell's cooldown is reduced by 25 seconds and its cast timer is reduced by one second. Yes. Body and soul. Power word shield and leap of fate increase your target's movement speed by 40% for three seconds. I want that. Twins of the sun priests. Priestess, power infusion also grants you 100% of its effects when used on an ally. I'm glad this is only one talent. It used to be two. It really needed to just be one. That's fine. Void Shield. When cast on yourself, 30% of damage you deal refills your power word shield. Damage ideal. Okay. Sand Lane. It reduces the cooldown of Vampiric Embrace by 45 seconds and increases its healing done by 20, 25%. Apathy. Your Holy Fire Critical Strikes reduce... Your target's movement speed by 75% for 4 seconds. <sighs> eh. Alright. Row 7. Unwavering Will. While above 75% health, cast time of your flash heal, heal, prayer of healing, and smite are reduced by 5%. Twist of Faith. Faith, after damaging or healing a target below 35% health, gain 5% increased damage and healing for 8 seconds. Throws of Pain, Shadow Word Pain deals an additional 3% damage when an enemy dies while afflicted with your Shadow Word Pain, you gain 5.5% mana. Alright, we're here. Row 8. Two choice notes, or, or a choice note here. Angels of Mercy. Damage you take reduces the cooldown of Desperate Pair based on the amount of damage taken. Or, Binding heals 20% heal or Flash Heal healing on other targets also heals you. Yes. Yes. Yes, I love that. I love that talent. Oh my god. Alright, we got another choice note here. Divine Star, 15 second cooldown. Throw Divine Star forward 24 yards. Healing allies in its path. For 5k, and dealing 5k holy damage to enemies. After reaching its destination, the Divine Star returns to you, healing allies and damaging enemies in its path, healing reduced beyond 6 targets. So you get to choose between Divine Star or Halo. Halo, 40 second cooldown. So that's 15, that's 40. Alright. Creates a ring of holy energy around you that quickly expands to a 30 yard radius, healing allies for 13k, and deals... Dealing 14k holy damage to enemy. Healing reduced beyond 6 targets. I like Halo. It just looks cool. Translucent image. Fade reduces damage you take by 10%. Mind games. Shadowlands talent. Or covenant ability right here. Assault the enemy's mind. Dealing 
29k shadow damage and briefly reverse, reversing their perception of reality. For 5 seconds, the next 20k damage they deal will heal their target, and the next 25k healing they deal will damage their target. This is going to be great, dude. For shadow, for... Maybe for this, dude. That's going to be sick for this. I think. All right. Surge of Light. Your healing spells and smite have a 4% chance to make your next flash of flash heal instant and cost no mana stacks to 2. Okay, that's nice. Light's Inspiration. Increases the maximum health gained from Desperate Prayer by 8%. Crystalline Reflection. Power Word Shield instantly heals the target for 2k. What's up? And 10% and reflects 10% of damage absorbed. Ooh. Improved fade reduces the cooldown of fade by five seconds. What? What? Manipulation. Your smite and holy fire cast reduce the cooldown of mind games by 0.5 seconds. All right. See, that could be great for this. All right. Let's look at these capstones. Power word life. All right. I want it. Power word life. A word of holy power that heals the target. For 12k. If the target is below 35% health, Power Word Life heals for 400% more. And the cooldown of Power Word Life is reduced by 20 seconds. Look at that chumbo heal. That's a chumbo heal. Alright. Angelic Bulwark. When an attack brings you below 30% health, you gain an absorption shield equal to 15% of your maximum health for 20 seconds. Cannot occur more than 90 seconds. Alright, we're getting that. Void Shift. You and the currently targeted party or raid member swap health percentages. Increases the lower health percentage of the two by 25% if below that amount. Damn, that's wild. That's But that's Void. My, my holy dude, he ain't touching that. That's the devil. That's the Void. That's no, no. Shadowed Perceptions. Mind game lasts an additional 2 seconds, deals an additional 25% initial damage, and, and reverses an additional 25% damage or healing. Alright, so what do we get? Let's Shackle Undead. And move with Grace. Just because I want to be all holy. Look at that. I'm so holy. I ain't dabble in that shadow. No, no. The only shadow I get is screams. And uh, mind control. Alright. Now we're moving into the holy talent proper. Holy word serenity. One minute recharge. Perform a miracle. Healing an ally for 56k. Cooldown reduced by 6 seconds when you cast heal or flash heal. Max 2 charges. Boom. Boom. Healed. For the Lord. Alright, row 2. Prayer of healing. Oh my god, was it prayer of healing? Oh my god. Prayer of healing. Oh my god, I'm a dumbo. Alright. Oh well. Prayer of healing, a powerful prayer that heals the target and the four nearest allies within 40 yards for 7k. That's a nice, that's a nice little AOE heal. Guardian Spirit, call upon a Guardian Spirit to watch over a friendly target for 10 seconds. Increases healing received by 60%. If the target would die, the spirit sacrifices itself and restores the target to 40% health. Castable Weiss stun cannot save the target from massive damage. All right, I like that. I like that. We like to see that. All right. Holy word chastise. Chastise oh, one minute cool. Up. Chastises the target for 14k holy damage and it capacitates them for four seconds. Oh my god! I'm a yeah. I'm a chastise someone. They're going to be fucking fighting. And I'm going to be like, stop that. And they're going to be like. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Holy word. Sanctify. 
One minute recharge. Oh my goodness, all these big heals. Release Miraculous Light at a target location. Healing up to six allies within 10 yards for 19k. Cooldown reduced by six seconds when you cast Prayer of Healing. And by two seconds when you cast Renew. Max two charges. Damn. That's wild. Alright. What else? We got a choice node here in the middle. I, I took that. Okay. Guardian Angel. When Guardian Spirit saves the target from death, it does not expire. When Guardian Spirit expires without saving the target from death, reduces its remaining cooldown for 60 seconds. I'm taking that. Okay. Guardians of the Light. Guardian Spirit now also grants you 100% of its effect when used on an ally. No. I'm taking that. Censure. Holy Word Chastise stuns the target for 4 seconds and is not broken by damage. Boom! Burning Vehemence. Increase the damage of Holy Bire by 25%. Eh. I'm not trying to hurt people. I'm trying to heal people. Alright. Circle of Healing. Heals the target and 4 injured, al injured allies within 30 yards of the target for 8k. Alright. I like it. Alright. We got a choice note here. Revitalizing Prayers. Prayer of Healing has a 25% chance to apply a 6 second renew to allies that heal. Yes. Alright, what's the other one? Holy Word Sanctify increases the healing done by Prayer of Healing by 15% for 15 seconds. No. I like the renews. Alright, Cosmic Ripple. When Holy Word Serenity or Holy Word Sanctify finish their cooldown, you emit a burst of light. That's cool. They heals up to five injured targets within 40 yards for 3k. That's, okay, that's just gonna look cool. That is literally just gonna look cool. I don't know how good it is, but that's gonna be cool. Afterlife. Increases the duration of Spirit of Redemption by 50%. And the range of its spells by 50%. As Spirit of Redemption, you may sacrifice your spirit to resurrect an ally, putting yourself... To rest. Damn! If you go ghost mode, you could be like, alright, I will die. But you will live. Pre Priest battle res. Right there. Ba boom. Renewed faith. Your healing on allies with renews increased by 6%. I feel like I gotta get that since I got that. Alright. Imperial Blaze. 30 second cooldown. Refresh this holy fire. Your next three casts of holy fire cost no mana. Incur no cooldown and cast instantly. Whenever holy fire is reapplied, its duration is now extended instantly. What the frack? That's wild. Alright. What row are we? Five. Alright, we got a choice node. Prayer circle. Using holy or er, using he, circle of healing reduces the cast time and cost of your prayer of healing by 20 percent for eight seconds. All right. All right. Or your renew healing increases the healing done by your next circle of healing by one percent second up to fifty times. Hold on. So prayer of healing will apply that, and then I can blind. Eh. Here we'll we'll think about it. So hold on, let me double check again. Prayer of mending reduces the cost of here and prayer of healing. Okay. Okay. Prayer of mending. Heal or prayer of healing. Right. Prayer of mending does this and my normal heal. Okay. And that is circle. That's this. Okay. Oh, but that reduces. Okay. I like that. Okay. Alright. 
Prayerful Litany. Prayer of healing heals for 30% more to the most injured ally effects. So that's this one. Alright, I like that. Trail of Light. When you cast Heal or Flash Shield, 18% of the healing is replicated to the previous target you healed with Heal or Flash Shield. Flash Shield, that's cool. Divine Him. Here's the big chunk of heal. Three minute cooldown. Heal all party or raid members within 40 yards for 24k over 7 seconds. Each heal increases all targets healing taken by 4% for 15 seconds stacking. Healing increased by 100% when not in a raid. Boom. Enlightenment. You regenerate mana 10% faster. Yes. Alright, then we got a choice note. Benediction. Your prayer mending has a 12% chance to leave a renew on each targeted heals. Prayer of Mending. Alright. Prayer of Mending, yes. I like that. Leave a Renew on each target it heals. Or, Holy Mending. When Prayer of Mending jumps to a target affected by Renew, the target is healed instantly for 12, uh, 2k. Eh, I'm gonna get Benediction. <laughs> Alright. Row 6. A Reason. Circle of Healing heals one additional ally and its cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds. Maybe. Everlasting Light. Heal restores up to 15% additional health based on your missing mana. Interesting. Divine Heal heals for 8% more. Stacks of Divine Him increase healing taken by additional 1% per stack. Symbol of Holt. 3 minute cooldown. Channel. Bolster the morale of raid members within 40 yards. They each recover 60 seconds of cooldown of a major defensive ability and regain 15% of their missing mana over 3 seconds. Okay, I like that. Divine Service. Prayer of Menin heals 4% more for each bounce remaining. Okay. Alright, let's see what we're going to do here. Crisis Management. Increase the critical strike chance of flash shield and heal by 8%. Here, hold up. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if I need that AoE. Increases the critical strike chance of flash heal and heal by 8%. Yeah, I need that. Prismatic Echoes. Increase the healing done by your mastery echo of light by 6%. Prayer Mending jumps one additional time. Yeah, especially if it's replying renew. Alright. Here we go. Row 8. Pontifex. Critical heals from flash heal and heal increase your healing done by your next holy world spell by 10%. Second of the two times. Yeah, with all the crit I'm getting, that's going to be good. Alright. Apotheosis. Two minute cooldown. Gain a charge of your holy words and enter a pure holy form for 20 seconds. Increasing the cooldown reductions to your holy words by 300%. Reduce their cost by 100%. Alright, I'm picking that, but let's see what the other one is. Holy word salvation. 12 minute cooldown. Heal all allies within 40 yards for 8k and applies renew and two stacks of prayer mending to each of them. Cooldown reduced by 30 seconds when you cast Holy Word Serenity or Holy Word Sanctify. That's crazy though. That's crazy. I wonder if the tier would boost it or something. Alright, Empowered Renew. Renew instantly heals your target for 10% of its total periodic effect or... Rapid recovery increases the healing done by Renew by 35%, but decreases its base duration by 3 seconds. So it's faster Renew or healing Renews? Here, we'll do better Renews. Say your prayer. Pray amending has a 15% chance to not consume a charge when it jumps to a new target. Alright. Alright, Resonant Words. Casting a Holy Word spell increases the healing of your next healer flash shield by 25%. I'm going to take that. Desperate Times increases healing by 10% on friendly targets at or below 50% health. Light of the Naru. The cooldowns of your Holy Words are reduced by an additional 10% when you cast the relevant spells. Yes. Harmonious Apparatus. Circle of Healing reduces the cooldown of Holy Word Sanctify. Prayer of Minion reduces the cooldown of Holy Word Serenity. And Holy Fire reduces the cooldown of Holy Word chastised by two seconds wait a minute okay all right hold on 
Okay, I think that's additional. Right? Okay. Searing Light. Smite and Holy Nova deal 25% additional damage to your targets affected by your Holy Fire. Answered Prayers. After your prayer, many heals 100 times. Gain Apotheosis for 8 seconds. That's kind of cool. Alright. Got a choice note here. Light at run of capstones. Light Weaver. Flash Shield reduces the cast time of your next heal within 20 seconds by 30% and increases the heal done by 15%. Stacks up to 2 time. Or Light Well. Create a Light Well every 1 second. A Light Well will attempt to heal a party or member within 10 yards that are lower than 50% health. For 1k over 6 seconds, Light Well lasts for 3 minutes or until 15 heals are expended. I'm going to get Light Well. And then we got. Another choice note, Divine Image. When you use a Holy Word spell, you have a chance to summon an image of a Naru at your side for 15 seconds. Whenever you cast a spell, a Naru casts a similar spell. That's cool. Or, Divine Word. One minute cooldown. The effectiveness of your next Holy Word, Serenity, Sanctify, or Chastise is increased by 50% and grants a corresponding Divine Favor for 15 seconds. Chastise increases damage by 50% and smiles a 40 Percent chance to apply Holy Fire. Sanctify blesses the target area, healing up to six allies for 34k over 15 seconds. Serenity, Flash of Heal, Heal, Renew, Heal for 30% more, have a 20% increased chance to critically strike and cost 20% less mana. That could be good, but I, that's micromanagey for me. I want to summon a Naru. Or our final one over here. Another choice note. Miracle Worker, Holy Word Serenity, and Holy Word Sanctify gain additional charge. Restitution, after Spirit of Redemption expires, you will revive at, at up to 100% health. Based on your healing done during Spirit of Redemption, after reviving, you cannot benefit from Spirit of Redemption for 10 minutes. Shit. Well. Oh well. What do we get? Alright. that. Alright, well, that's fun. Alright, so only the one thing changed. Okay, cool. I want to see something. Halo. That's cool. Light well. Putting that on myself. It's infuse. I can't chastise. Divine him popping. Alright, what was that other spell I wanted to see? Apotheosis looking good. Alright, I think it's the same. Symbol of hope. Alright, and what else we got? Power word life. Boom. Alright, well, here, actually, let's see how full the priest bars are. After all this. Oh my god, they're super full. Because they, priests got a lot of, like, extra stuff. Like, look at that, dude. Alright, I'm one short. I'm one bar short. Alright, no leap of fate. I have to level take. I don't need leap of fate. Alright, how much does that heal me? 12k? Alright, so now let's take a look at discipline. Now here on discipline, I'm gonna dabble in the shadow. Alright, I dabble. I'm not full shadow, but I dabble. Alright. Alright, so let's reset this. Here, I'll undo some of it. But I'll reset that. Here, so they gra they get... Okay, so discipline gets shadow fiend. Automatically. Alright, and this is their starter. They have you go get this. I'm not going to get that. All right. All right. I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. All right. Fuck. All right, I got three more. Alright, 
we get master spell. Why wouldn't you get this? Why why would they not have you get that in the starter build? Smite and Holy Nova, not Penance. Hold on. We'll get the shield. Alright. Alright. I dabble in the shadows. Alright. Uh, okay, so now we're discipline. All right, so discipline. I know a little bit more, but I may not know it that well. So take all this with a grain of salt for sure. All right, atonement. Power word shield, flash shield, renew, and power word radiance. Apply atonement to your target for 15 seconds. Your spell damage heals all targets affected by atonement for 50% of the damage done. All right then. Power word, radiance, we're on row two now. Burst of light heals the target and four injured allies within 30 yards for 7K and applies atonement for 75% of its normal duration. Cool. Pain suppression, reduces all damage taken by a friendly target for 40% for eight seconds castable while stunned. That's really good. Power of the dark side. Shadow word, pain, and purge. The wicked have a chance to empower your next penance with shadow, increasing its effectiveness by 50%. Okay, I like that. <laughs> we dabble in. Light's promise. Power word, radiance, gains an additional charge. I think that's for the two charges, though. All right, then we got a choice node here. Pain transformation. Pain suppression also heals your target for 12% of their maximum health and applies atonement. That's cool. Or, Protector of the Frail, Power Word Shield reduces the cooldown of Pain Suppression by 3 seconds. Yes. More of them. Dark Indulgence. Power of the Dark Side increases the effectiveness of Penance by an additional 20%. Or Schism. Schism. 24 second cooldown. Attack the enemy's soul with the Surge of Shadow Damage, dealing uh, 9k Shadow Damage, increasing your spell damage to the target by 25% for 9 seconds. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's get Dark Indulgence. All right, row four. All right, choice node. Bright poop, poop, bright pupil. Bright pupil, reduces the cooldown of power word radiance by five seconds, or enduring luminescence. Power word radiance applies atonement and a 15 per, at an additional 15% of its normal duration. All right, so that makes it 90%. That makes more of them. How long? 15 seconds? Alright. Or maybe it's already doing it. Alright, so we got Shield Discipline. When your Power Word Shield is completely absorbed, you restore 0.5% of your maximum mana. Or, this is another choice node. Power Word Soul is strike an enemy with heavenly power, dealing holy damage, and restoring 1% of your maximum mana. Oh. I like the Power Word Solus. Power Word Barrier, three minute cooldown, summon a holy bear to protect all allies at the target location for 10 seconds, reducing all damage taken by 25%, pretending damage from delaying spellcasting. Great. Painful Punishment. Each pennant bolt extends the duration of Shadow Word Paint and purge the wicked on enemies hit by 0.7 seconds. I like that. Malicious Intent increases the duration of Schism by three seconds. All right. Row five. Purge the wicked cleanses the target with fire, causing radiant damage and an additional 
radiant damage over 20 seconds spreads to nearby enemies when you cast penance on the target. Yes, and it replaces shadow word pain. So boom. <sighs> Rapture. Immediately power word shield your target, and for the next eight seconds, power word shield has no cooldown and absorbs an additional 30%. Boom. <sighs> Everybody gets shields. <sighs> Shadow Covenant, 30 second cooldown. Make a shadowy pact healing the target and four other injured allies within 30 yards for 11k. For seven seconds, your shadow spells deal 25% increased damage and healing, and Halo and Divine Star are converted to shadow spells. Oh shit. Shadow Covenant. You join the Shadowlands Covenant. All right, row six. Rebel and Purity. Purge the Weed deals 5% additional damage and spreads to one additional target when casting Penance. Yes. Contrition. When you heal with Penance, everyone with your Atonement is healed for 2k. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I didn't look at the tier. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Discipline tier. Let's look. Power Word Shield increases the effectiveness of your next direct damage or healing spell by 10%. Alright, Penance increases the strength of your next Power Word Shield by 60% and its damage. By 60% of its damage or 18% of its healing. That's cool. That's cool. So we want Penance. That feels good. Alright then. Alright, increases the duration of Rapture by 3 seconds. Choice node, exaltation, or indemnity. Atonements granted by power word shield last an additional three seconds. What is it? Duration by three seconds. Alright, we'll do a lot of more of rapture. Pain and suffer increase the damage of shadow word pain and purge the wicked by 8%. And then is there a choice node over here? Embrace the shadow. Shadow Covenant lasts an additional four seconds. Or Twilight Corruption. While Shadow Covenant is active, Penance becomes dark reprimand, causing shadow damage over 1.8 seconds. Castable while moving. That's cool. All right. All right. Now we're moving down. I want to get rid of that actually. Mm. I feel like I don't want that. If anything. All right. Now we're in row seven. Borrow time, casting power word should increase your haste by 4% for four seconds. Castigation, penance fires one additional bolt of holy light over its duration. Again that. Stolen psyche, atonement heals for 20% more when activated by mind blast. All right, we'll get the haste. <sighs> row eight. Train of thought, your flat your flash heal and renew casts reduce the cooldown of power word shield by one second. Your smite cast reduce the cooldown of pendant by 1.5 second. Okay. Lights wrath. Invoke the lights wrath. Dealing radiant damage to the target increases increase by 10% per ally affected with your atonement. That's cool. All right. So we do the the boom and then we go and then we heal them all. All right then. And then we got a choice node here. Atonement reduced damage taken by 3%. Nice. Or extend duration of all your atonements by 6 seconds. 1.5 minute cooldown. No, I'm doing I'm doing fucking lenience. That's amazing. And then we got Mindbender over here. Replace the Shadow Fiend. Summon a Mindbender to attack the target for 12 seconds. Generates mana each time the Mindbender attacks. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I would have had to get that. All right, so now we're in row eight. Divine Aegis. Critical heals. Create a protective shield on the target, absorbing 50% of the amount healed. Last 15 seconds. Critical heals with power word shield, adore, absorb 15% additional damage. Uh. All right, Sins of the Many. Your damage is increased by 6%, diminishing for each ally. Affected by your atonement, what the hell? Respendent Light, Light's Wrath deals an additional 2% damage for ally affected with your atonement. Harsh Discipline, when atonement has healed a total of 200 times, your next pendant is free and fires 3 additional bolts. What the hell? 
Expiation. Increase the damage of Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death by 10%. Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death consume 3 seconds of Shadow Word Pain and Purge the Wicked instantly dealing that damage. Or Void Summoner. Your Smite, Mind Blast, and Penance cast reduce the cooldown of Shadow Fiend by 3 seconds. Or Mind Bender by 1 second. Why does it say or Mindbender? You literally cannot. You physically cannot get this talent without getting Mindbender. All right. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let's look at these capstones. Because this doesn't lead over. <laughs> all right, let's look at these capstones. Aegis of Wrath. Power Word Shield absorbs 50% additional damage, but the Absorb Mount decays by 3% every one second. Oh, that would go good with that. <sighs> oh, wait, no, no, no. With, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Where was it? This one. Or, make amends. When your penance deals damage, the duration of atonement on yourself is increased by one second. And when your penance heals, the duration of atonement on your target is increased by one second. All right. Well and woe, your penance bolts increase the damage of your next smite by 8% and the absorb of your next power word shield by 3% sacks of the 7 times. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Alright, Wrath Unleashed. Reduce the cast time of Light's Wrath by 1 second and increase its critical strike chance by 15%. Smite deals 40% additional damage for 15 seconds after casting Light's Wrath. Twilight Equilibrium. Your damaging shadow spells increase the damage of your next holy spell cast within six seconds. Six seconds by 15%. <sighs> your damaging holy spell increase the damage of your next shadow spell cast within six seconds by 15%. Or Inescapable Torment. Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death cause your mind bender to teleport behind the target, slashing up to nearby enemies. Up to five nearby enemies for shadow damage. Increase the duration of mind bender by one second. <sighs> All right. At three points. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's my build. Is it good? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I do want to look at one thing. Let's look at Shadow now. Shadow I know a little bit more about. Alright, oh, I didn't read about the priests. So, let me... Let me look at Shadow tier, though. Mind Blast increases the damage of your next Devouring Plague or Mind Seer by 12% second up to three times. So you want to Mind Blast three times. Devouring Plague and Mind Seer increase your haste by 4% for 8 seconds. Okay, and you get more haste. Alright. 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 Hold on. So let's see what we've been through. So we've been through Holy, a versatile healer who can reverse damage on individuals or groups and even heal from beyond the grave. Discipline. Uses magic to shield allies from taking damage as well as heal their wounds. Wow, okay. Discipline, very plain descript. What? Okay. Alright, that's very. Look, a versatile, all this stuff beyond the grave. Hey man, you shield and uh, you reverse some damage. You heal their wounds. Shadow uses sinister shadow magic and terrifying void magic to eradicate en enemies. Discipline needs to talk about the light and the void. That's all I gotta say. But let's do shadow. Oh my god, the basic shadow build. <laughs> Alright. I heard they force limit you so you can't get more idols. Or 
or do they? We'll find out. All right, so this has you go over there and get some of that. This actually looks good to me, like how it is. Like I don't have any, <sighs> I'm not gonna really adjust this. That looks good to me. All right, so let's look at Shadow. Devouring Plague. Requires Shadow Form. All right, well. All right, Devouring Plague. Afflicts the target with a disease that instantly causes shadow damage plus an additional shadow damage for six seconds. Heals you for 50% of the damage dealt. If this effect is reapplied, any remaining damage will be added to the new Devouring Plague. Good. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> Alright, row two. Dispersion. Disperse into per pure shadow energy, reducing all damage taken by 75% for 6 seconds and healing you for 25% of your maximum health over its duration. But you, un you are unable to attack or cast spells. Increase it movement speed by 50% and makes you immune to all movement impairing effects. Castable while stunned, feared, or silenced. <laughs> Alright, that's cool, but it doesn't increase my damage. When you use Mind Blast, Devouring Plague, or Void Blow, you also create a shadowy version of yourself that floats towards the target, afflicted by your vampiric touch, deal in shadow damage. Critical strikes will cause two operations to be great. Yes. Yes. Silence. Silence enemy target, preventing them from casting spells for four seconds against non-players. Also interrupt spell casting to prevent any school from that spell from being cast. Yeah, dude. Healing, holy, and discipline do not get that. Sorry. <laughs> the only healer that can't get their interrupt now. Priests do got a lot, but that's why they need to give... They need to do that one thing. They're not gonna give them... They need to give them some good stuff. That's for sure. Alright. Row three. We got a choice note here. Intangibility. Dispersion heals you for an additional 25% of your max health over its duration and its cooldown is reduced by 30%. 30%. 30 seconds. Or, Mental Fortitude, healing from Vampiric Touch and Devouring Plague when you are at maximum health will shield you for the same amount. Shield cannot exceed 15k damage absorbed. Alright. Got another choice node. Misery, Vampiric Touch also applies Shadow Word Pain to the target. Shadow Word Pain lasts an additional 5 seconds. Dark Void, this is the other choice, unleashes an explosion of dark energy right near target, dealing... 15 or 5k shadow damage and applying shadow word pain to your target and 15 nearby enemies. So I'm gonna go with this one, Misery. Because you want the vampire touch on everything anyway, so you might as well just blast them all. <laughs> Alright. Another choice note here. Last word reduces the cooldown of silence by 15 seconds. Or Psychic her Horror terrifies the target in place, stunning them for four seconds. I'll take faster in a row. So that doesn't do anything. That's choice? Okay. That's just for CC. Alright. Row four. Coalescing Shadows. Mind Seer and Shadow Word Pain Damage has a 4% chance to grant you Coalescing Shadows. And Mind Flay has a 15% chance to grant you Coalescing Shadows. Stacking up to three times... Mind Blast and Mind Spike consume all Coalescing Shadows to deal 10% increased damage per stack and consuming at least one increased damage for, of your periodic effects by 10 seconds for 15 seconds. Hold on. Interesting. Hold on. <laughs> I'm reading it again. Okay, so you stack up your coalescing shadows. And then Mind Blast and Mind Swag will consume them. And then that will increase the periodic effects by 10%. Alright, interesting. I feel like you probably gotta get that. 
Then we got Mindseer here. Corrosive Shadow Energy radiates from the target, dealing shadow damage over 2.6 seconds to all enemies within 10 yards of the target. Here, I'm trying to get comfortable. Alright, Mind Spike. Blast the target for 3k Shadow Frost damage. Generates 4 insanity. <laughs> Alright. Row 5. Puppet Master, your Shadow Fiend and Mindbender grant you coalescent shadows each time they deal damage. Okay, damage from your Shadow Reapparition has a 8% chance to grant you coalescent shadows. Alright. Mental Decay, the decree. The decoration. The duration of your Shadow Word Pain and Vampiric Touch is increased by one second when enemies suffer Mind Flay or Mind Seer damage. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I like that. Alright, got a choice note here. Dark Ascension. Sorry for the sniffles. That came on literally as I started. <sighs> Dark Ascension. One minute cooldown. Grants your non-periodic sham... Sh increases your non-periodic shadow damage by 25% for 20 seconds. So that's when you go and single target. Then we got Void Eruption. Releases an explosive blast of pure void energy. Activating void form and causing 9k shadow... Or Pretty much 10k shadow damage to all enemies within 10 yards of your target. During Void Form, this ability is replaced by Void Boy, Vo Void Boy, Vo Void Bolt. Each 25 insanity spent during Void Form increases the duration of Void Form by one second. I'm going Void Form. Unfurling sh uh, Darkness. After casting Vampire Touch on the target, you can maybe go single target shadow for Dark Ascension. <laughs> Just for the fun. Or a non-periodic sh shadow. Just for fun. Or maybe it's good. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be good. But instead of playing what's good, you can do what you want. If you're doing casual stuff. People in groups should stop being shitty about what you are, but... Definitely for casual content, you, you can do what you want. Alright. Did I read? Okay, after casting Vampire Touch on a target, your next Vampire Touch within 8 seconds is instant cast and deals 12k shadow damage immediately. This effect can't occur more than once every 15 seconds. Okay, so that's good for two targets. Alright. Surge of Darkness, your Vampire Touch and Devouring Plague damage has a chance to cause your next Mind Spike to be instant cast and deal 200% increase additional damage. Sacks up to three times. You can't really stack instant cast three times, but that's good. That's good. The, the, the increased damage works. Alright. What row is this? Six. Harness Shadow increases the chance for you to gain coalition shadows when you deal damage with Mind Seer and Shadow Word Pain by 2% and Mind Flay by 10%. You have a 100% chance to gain your coalition shadow when critically hit by any attack. This effect can only occur every six seconds. I like that. Shadowy Insight. Mind Blast gains an additional charge. Shadow Word Pain Periodic Damage has a chance to reset the main cooldown of Mind Blast and cause your next Mind Blast to be instant. I like that. Ancient Madness. Void Form and Dark Ascension increase your critical strike chance by 10% for 20 seconds, reducing by 0.5% every second. All right. Shadow Crash. Her little boat of slow moody, mo moody. Slow moving shadow energy at a destination dealing 14k shadow damage to all targets within 8 yards and applying vampire touch to 8 of them. <laughs> That's something for AoE. Mind melt. Mind spike reduce the cast time of your next mind blast by 50% and increase the critical strike chance by 25% second to 2 times. I'm only going to be doing some mind spikes. Vampiric Touch has a 30% chance to generate one insanity each time it deals damage. Dark Evangel Dark Evangelism. Oh my god, I can't talk. Your Mind Flame, Mind Seer, and Vord Torrent damage increases the damage of your periodic shadow effects by 1% second up to 5 times. Alright. I do like that. Auspicious Spirits, your Shadow Apparitions deal, now deal 50% increased damage and deal and generate one insanity, and this is a choice node, 
It's auspicious spirits or tormented spirits. Your shadow word pain damage has a 5% chance to create a shadow reapparition that floats through your target afflicted by your shadow. By your vampiric embrace, critical strike chance increases the chance. Critical strikes increase the chance to 10%. That's great. <laughs> I want more ghosts. Mind blast, mind flay, and mind spike deal 15% additional. Uh, fifteen percent of the damage to all other targets affected by your vampire touch within forty yards. More AOE. Whispers of the Dam, your mind blast, and mind spike critical strikes generate two additional insanity. All right, we're gonna get this one. <sighs> all right, row seven. Mind bender, yes. Replaces your shadow fiend. It increases your insanity. It's cool. All right, choice node, death speaker. Your shadow word pain damage has a chance to reset the cooldown of shadow word death and enable 150 additional damage regardless of the target's health. All right, or mind flay insanity. Devouring plate transforms your next mind flay into mind flay insanity. Last 10 seconds. Assaults the target's mind with shadow energy, causing 14k shadow damage over 2 second or 2.6 seconds and slowing their movement by 70%, generates 16 insanity over the duration. What is mind flay normally doing? <sighs> oh. It's extra. All right, Encroaching Shadow increases their initial damage of Devouring Plague by 75% and the damage of Mind Seer by 20%. Okay, I like that. <sighs> we got a choice note over here. Damnation. What in damnation? One minute cooldown. Instantly inflects the target with Shadow Word Pain, Vampire Touch, or Devouring Plague. Oh, okay. Or Void Torrent. Channel, channel a torrent of Void Energy into the target, dealing 43k Shadow Damage over 3 seconds. Generates 16 sanity over its duration. That's cool. That'd be for the non-periodic, right? Or does that count periodic? But it's channeled. I don't know. Alright. Row 9. Inescapable Torment. Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death cause your mind bender to teleport behind the target, slashing up to five nearby enemies for... Shadow damage and increase the duration of the mind bender by 0.5 seconds. I'll take two of those. Screams of the Void. While channeling mind flay or void torrent, your vampire touch shadow word pain on your primary target deal damage 40% faster. While channeling mind seer, your vampire touch and shadow word pain on all targets deal damage 40% uh, faster. Okay, I like that. Pain of Death. Increase the damage dealt by Shadow Word Death by 13%. Shadow Word de Death deals 30% of its damage to all targets affected by your Shadow Word Pain within 40 yards. Alright. <laughs> Mind Devourer. Mind Blast has a 10% chance to make your next Devouring Plague or Mind Seer cause no insanity. Insidious Ire. While you have Shadow Word Pain, Devouring Plague, and Vampire Touch active on the same target, your Mind Blast deals 20% more damage. Or Malediction, reduce the cooldown of damnation and Void Torrent by 15 seconds. Alright. Now we got the Capstones. Idol of Yashars. Summoning Mindbender causes you to gain a benefit based on your target's current state or increase its duration by 5 seconds if no state matches. Healthy. You and your Mindbender deal 5% additional damage. Enrage. Devours the Enrage effect. Increasing your haste by 5%. Generates 5 insanity every 1 second. If it's stunned. Feared. You and your mind better deal 15% increased damage and do not break fear effect. Oh my god, we go in your charge. <sighs> That's fucking wild. Idol of Cthune. Mind flame. Mind still have a chance to spawn a void tender or void lash or chant and cha the channels. At your target for 15 seconds, generate 3 insanity every 3 seconds. Okay, we're getting that. Dude, you can get multiple! This is amazing. Idol of Yog saron after conjuring 25 shadowy apparition, you summon a thing from beyond that serves you for 20 seconds. The thing from beyond bell ass enemies for 8k shadow damage. Oh my lord, Jesus. 
Alright, Idol of Nazoth. Your periodic shadow word pain and vampire touch damage is 13 or 30% chance to apply Echoing Void max 4 targets. Each time Echoing Void is applied, it has a chance to collapse, consuming a stack for one second to deal shadow damage to all nearby enemies. Damage reduced beyond 5 targets. If an enemy dies with Echoing Void, all stacks collapse immediately. That's cool! You can double up on your favorite old gods. Here, we'll get the insanity. Oh my god, I love this. You charge Cthune. I like it. I like it. I like it. I was covering up all the talents. Son of a bitch. I'm fixing this for the Druid video. Sorry, everyone. Sorry I covered up the talents over there. But here's the thing. Pre-patch is going to be in like a day. So you'll be able to make your own spec. I'm going to go over all the specs I did. Sorry for what I did. Here. There was Shadow you saw. Here was my holy. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so bad. And uh, here was my discipline. You didn't, hold on, I was up to here. You didn't miss, you missed some. You, you did miss some. That's my bad. That's my bad. Overall, I think Priest... To me, it seems fine, but I don't know. I hope it's good. It the, it looks cool. Like, this looks cool. It's going to be fun playing around with these spells, you know, if everything's tuned and balanced. You know, Priest looks cool. Like, look at this aesthetic. And I feel like you're cool down here. I feel like this... <sighs> this... This... And the one thing Holy brings is just gonna get you in the raid either way. Cause that stuff, divine him and stuff, is, is just good. But all right, that's been Priest. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.